All right, so we are designing an airfoil fin. It looks like this um, for use on a model rocket. Uh, so we'll 3D print it and then put it on a model rocket. Okay, um, so let's start. Um, this is what your startup file will look like. We can start by deleting that. Um, hold on, let me turn on my screencast keys. Okay, so we'll start by just pressing X and then left click on delete. And we're going to add a new, uh, start with just a circle. Um, so we'll go to create over here and we're going to create a curve and we're going to create a circle. Um, so we have our circle here. I'm going to press and hold the middle mouse button and then move the mouse around to change my view. Um, I'm going to press 7 on the number pad to go to the top view. And then I'm going to use the middle mouse button to zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to come down here and change it from object mode to edit mode. Um, you can also do that with the tab key. So if you're in this object mode down here, change it to press tab to change it to edit mode. And I'm going to change this into an airfoil shape. So I'm going to right click on this bottom point to select it. And you can notice here that I'll have arrows that will allow me to move this shape. Um, that's down here. This should be selected. If this is selected, you'll have a rotation tool. If this is selected, you have a scaling tool. But this should be selected so you can move the tool. So see, we can move this point in all three directions. So we'll go back to our top view, and we're going to left click on this arrow and slide it down a ways. Um, we're going to make our fin um, be about uh, 5 by 10. Or sorry, 5 by 3. Um, so, and I'm going to have the scale be double, so it's going to be 10 to 6. So we'll use these grid lines here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we get to the end of the grid. So we move that to the end of the grid here. Uh, and then we'll right click on this piece and then uh, zoom out a little bit. Left click on this arrow to move it in this direction. Okay. Um, now I'm going to hold the shift button and press the middle mouse key and move the mouse to focus on this point here. Um, I'm going to right click to select this and then left click on the arrow and slide this little dot here in close like that. Do the same thing on this side, right click on the point and then left click on the red arrow and slide that little dot in. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold shift and the middle mouse button to, to scroll up and look at our uh, shape from the top here. So it looks pretty good. Um, looks like an airfoil shape already. And you can hold the middle mouse button and look around at what you've created. Um, that's good for now. I'll press A to deselect. And uh, then I'm going to press tab to go back into object mode. So now we're just looking at this whole object that we've made and we're going to convert it from a curve into an actual what's called mesh or a shape. So I'm going to press Alt C and now I'm going to convert um, to a mesh from a curve. So I'm going to left click on that select that. Um, now you'll notice that when I press tab again to go back into edit mode we have all of these vertices here in our shape. So I'm going to press A to select all of the vertices and then press F. What F does is it draws a face uh, between all of the vertices. Now what we're going to do is make it three-dimensional. So we're going to uh, go into side view by pressing 3 on the number pad. And then we're going to uh, press E to extrude and just lift up like this. Okay, maybe about this high, and then left click to set it. Okay, so now we have this shape here. I'm using the middle mouse button to look around the shape. And what we want to do is make this top part of the fin a lot smaller. So with all of these vertices selected, I'm going to press S 
for scale and we're just going to shrink this part of the fin down to like this and then left click to set it and we also want to move it back towards the back of the fin so this is the front of the fin or this is where the front of the rocket will be in this direction the back of the rocket will be here so we want to left click on this green arrow now and move it towards the back okay so let's press three on the number pad and see how our fins looking um, I'd like to move it even further back maybe like this um, anytime you want you can click on view view perspective and orthogonal or you can just press number five on the numpad and that goes into like a two-dimensional view and it also has the grid shows up here so this is the three-dimensional view and this is the two-dimensional view so this looks looks good to me for now I'm gonna press A to deselect that top part of the fin and just look around and see what we've got here uh, looks pretty good. Um, it's a little bit wider than I want it to be. So I'm going to press A to select the whole thing. And then S for scale. And before I move the mouse, I'm going to restrict it to um, the X axis. Uh, that way it only scales in the X direction. And then I'm going to shrink it a little bit like that. And then left click. And then A to deselect. Now I have a thin, nice and thin fin. Okay, um, now if I want to measure, to look at my measurements, I can um, go to side view. And I can see here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, long here. So I want it to be 6 high. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's only about 5 high. So I'm going to use the middle mouse button to just view the top, these top vertices here. I'm going to press B for box select and select these vertices. I'm going to go back into side view by pressing 3 and just move this up to about 6. So it's about 6 tall and 10 long. That gives me my 5 to 3 proportion that I want. Um, maybe I want my end product, for example, to be um, 5 centimeters by 3 centimeters. Um, in the program that you use to prepare it for uh, the 3D printer, you can decide on that, make those decisions. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Um, looks like how I want it to look. The back comes to a point and the front uh, is rounded. And so now the last step um, is to save and export. So I'll press File, uh, Save As, and I can go and save my file here. I can call it Airfoil uh, Tutorial. And then click Save as Blender File. And to prepare it for the 3D printer, I can go to File, Export, and we'll export it as a .stl file. And then I'll change this to Airfoil Tutorial, and then Export STL and then I'll have that available um, to use in the 3D printer. All right, so that concludes this tutorial on how to make an airfoil fin for a model rocket um, to be printed on a 3D printer.